Oh, oh, there's Miss Ams. Oh, hi, Miss Ams. Good morning. Well, boys and girls, today I am here with Miss Canada, and I am so sorry, but we have been playing in the puppet stage. <laughs> yeah. So we're looking forward to seeing all of you join us here. But we're here for a special reason. Do you know why, Miss Canada? I think it's because we've got some awards to talk about. Have you been looking? Maybe. Maybe okay. A little bit. Yes, it is our awards. It's time for our January recognition of our students for awards. Also, we're looking at outstanding attendance, boys and girls, and honor roll. Oh, yeah, that's really important. Our A's and B's and our all A's. So congratulations to everyone, guys. We're looking forward to seeing you be honored and also looking forward to having more students in February. Yes. Keep on coming to school every day, on time, staying all day. You guys have been working really hard. Uh, yes, and then join us behind the puppets so we can yeah. play as well, okay? Bye, guys. Bye. What's that? Oh, we're live? Right now. I don't believe you. All right, guys. Coach A here. I'm here for your awards for third through fifth grade. For our awards this month, I pick students that I would want to have on my team. So that means students that I see complimenting other people, saying nice things about them. I see students that are taking turns, so sharing, making sure they're staying in their line order, and students that are fun to have on your team. Um, we want to be getting along, along with people. You guys should be enjoying these games when you're in PE class. So people that I think would be fun on my team and people that I know would help my team, would be good for my team. All right, so my first winner for third grade is Junior. I know I've seen Junior um, giving people compliments, always sharing, always taking his turn in class. So thank you, Junior, for setting a good example for other students. My next winner is for fourth grade, and we have Liam. Good job, Liam. Um, I see Liam always working his hardest um, at our basketball unit. He was doing very good with the shots, um, but he was also encouraging other people. So when, you're when it's your turn to take turns, it's good. It's great that you're doing great, but I like to see that when you're encouraging other people when they're doing great too. So thank you, Liam, for being a great team player. And my last winner would be fifth grade, and my winner is Mason. Congratulations, Mason. Um, Mason's a good player because he pushes himself, and he, like I said before, I've seen him encouraging other people, saying good job to other people, and I think he would be a fun person to have on my team. I would enjoy doing playing the game with him. So hopefully some of these people you enjoy playing your games with. Um, if you're not one of those people, work on your teammate skills so that people want to play the game with you. I want you guys to be enjoying our games in PE class. All right, guys, if you won this month, congratulations. If you didn't, keep trying hard in gym. We still got a few more months to go. Bye. Well, I've kind of lost my voice, and I'm just now getting it back. So um, it's used the way I sound, but it's very cold out, and I had a sinus infection. So dress warm nowadays. All right, you ready to get started with our January awards? All right, here we go. Third grade is going to a young lady in Miss Spindler's class. Hmm. I wonder who this could be. I will tell I'm just going to read the award first. It says, it's so nice to have a student like you in class. You always do your best, listen, focus, and work hard. One of the most dependable students I have. Thank you. Do you know who it is? It is. It's Annabelle. Annabelle, every bit of that is so very true. Yes, it is. Very dependable young lady. Thank you for being who you are. Good. I'm sorry my lights just went off. I hope you can see me well enough. All right. Let's keep going to uh, fourth grade. Fourth grade is going to a young lady also, and this one is in Mr. Michael's class. Oh, and I'm covering A to Z. Do you know whose name starts with Z? A young lady? Oh, yes, Zoe. Zoe, here's your award. It says, I'm so proud of you for passing your first recorder song on your first week 
with Miss Biondo. That was amazing. I can't wait to see how far you can go this year, which is very true. So I am very proud of you because you passed your first song on the first music class with me. And you may have had a rehearsal day with the substitute, but you did really, really well. Okay, here we go. Let's move on to fifth grade. Wow, and it's been two girls so far. Fifth grade, uh, the guy. Guys, yes. First time ever, Miss Biondo could not decide who was going to get the award this time. So you know what I did? I gave two awards. And they're in Miss Lewis's class, fifth grade. And since I did two girls, I guess it just worked out fine that this one is going to be two boys. Yes. And gentlemen, your awards, just so you know, are identically the same with the exception of your names. Because how was I supposed to separate you? You have done the recorder together for a year and you passed songs together and you also passed your black belt. Do you know who you are? Yes, Nate and Talon. So I have both of your awards. They're right here, two awards. I'm gonna read them. It says, well, has your name, name Nate or Talon. It took you one year and one class to pass your black belt. Way to go, recorder masters. Now on the second degree and more belts to earn. I'm so very proud of you. And gentlemen, I am very proud of you. It's going to be interesting to see if you continue to work together and pass all your songs together at the same time like you have. I think it's great. Okay, guys, I will see you for the next month awards. But until then, I guess I'll see you in class. All right, stay warm. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's time for the Growth Mindset Award. Now remember, Growth Mindset means you don't give up when it gets hard, you keep trying. So, the Growth Mindset Award winners are, in third grade, Miss LP's class, Brianna. In fourth grade, Mr. Michael's class, Jackson. And in fifth grade, Miss Lewis's class, Abby. Good job, guys. You guys have worked so hard this past month, and we're so proud of you. Keep up the hard work. Good afternoon, Tigerville family. I'm excited to be here with you today to honor some students who've been working really hard for the month of January. So let's get started. The library superstar for third grade for this month enjoys reading and words. He is great at breaking apart a story. This month's library superstar for third grade is Henry from Mrs. Spindler's class. The library superstar for fourth grade this month is an avid reader. She always has a book in her hands and has even asked to start a fourth grade book club. This month's library superstar for fourth grade is Emma from Mr. Michael's class. The library superstar for fifth grade this month is working hard on his reading. He even found a series of books that he enjoys. Along with his two friends, he requested a new fishing and outdoor series for the library. This month's library superstar for fifth grade is Aaron from Mrs. Garner's class. Guys, you've worked really hard. Way to go. Now, I want to invite all of our Tigerville students to our book fair. We're going to be open two days in February, Friday, February 17th and Tuesday, February 21st. Guys, you can bring your families with you on Friday, February 17th from 7.15 a.m. to 7.45 a.m. to shop at the book fair. Then we're going to reopen the book fair from 10 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. so that you can shop during your lunchtime. We're going to be open again on Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 12.45 p.m. And you guessed it, during your lunchtime so that you can shop. And we'll also be open after school. This is another time where you can bring your families from 2.45 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. Please remember that all the proceeds from the book fair are used to purchase books for our library. So you're supporting reading when you shop our book fair. Guys, I can't wait to see you then. Hi, my amazing artist, and welcome to the art room. Well, here we are in the art room, and on the board behind me, you can see that it's time for our intermediate awards. I've been watching to see who has leveled up, and congratulations 
are in order. So we're going to honor a few students today that have worked very hard, and I'm excited to share those names with you. So we're going to start with third grade, and we're going to do third, fourth, and fifth. So hang on and listen up. Our third grade winner comes from LP's class, and the student is Dahlia. Dahlia is a wonderful art student. She always, capital A-L-W-A-Y-S, always puts forth 100% effort. Always. She listens to directions and she follows those directions for great results. She is a model leader for her whole class. She has a kind heart and is helpful to anyone that needs a helping hand. I appreciate her polite manners and her big smile. She is currently working on an artistic and creative entry for the Litter Trashes Everyone art contest. She always shares a unique idea with great details. I love working with Dahlia to help her grow her art skills. Love you, Dahlia, from Miss Smith. And you know what that means, Dahlia? That means that this toot out goes to you, my friend. Here we go. Excellent. Great job, Dahlia. Congratulations. We move up to our fourth grade winner, Pin Drop, Jitters. Everybody's all a flutter. Who will it be in fourth grade? Well, first of all, it's going to be someone in Mr. Thompson's class. Secondly, the name is Emma C. Congratulations to Emma C. Emma C is a creative artist, and her signature style is a lot of detail work in her pictures. She has a very focused and creative process. She works so carefully to get all those details in that she has to work extra hard sometimes to actually finish her projects within the time frame given. But I have noticed that Emma really enjoys making art and she is very good at it. Recently, she was working on an etching drawing with our art club. She is being very careful to learn this new art technique. Well, I love working with Emma, and Emma, that means that this toot out goes out to you, my friend. <laughs> Congratulations to Emma. One more. Are you ready? Fifth grade. Here we go. This student is in Miss Lewis's fifth grade class. Oh, now we have our ears perked up. Let's see who it's going to be this month. Lennox. Lennox has shown a lot of growth as an artist this year. He has stepped up to a higher level of making art and also as far as being a fine young man. I have noticed he is giving more effort, being in good attendance, and has shown very good manners and respect, especially to his teachers. Recently, he used oil pastels to create an oil pastel poinsettia. His picture used blending of the colors and specific art techniques to make his art unique, beautiful, and very successful. I appreciate Lennox and how much he has grown in his fifth grade year. We're gonna miss you, Lennox, as you move on to middle school. Don't forget who your buddies are back here at little old Tigerville. Well, I love you, Lennox. That's from Miss Smith. And this fifth grade toot out goes to you, my friend. 
That was great. Well, congratulations to all of our winners. Thank you for being the success that you are. Thank you for leveling up and congratulations to each and every one of you. I'll see you guys around the art room. Till then, have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. It's time for our January STEM Awards. The students that I've picked for this month are students who are so sweet and so kind. They always come in and they make class so fun and entertaining, but they always work hard and it, they encourage their classmates to work hard too. So for third grade, out of Miss Spindler's class, we have Ansley. Out of fourth grade from Mr. Michael's class, we have JJ. And for fifth grade, out of Miss Lewis's class, we have Lennox. Great job, guys. Keep up the hard work.